Okay, this is how I have created my wallet for my client. My client is Miss Clemens, and that is Client D. Miss Clemens is a 64-year-old woman who has ALS, but she's at the beginning stages. She has dysarthria for her ALS. She is able to read and write. She performs a piano at her church, and she used to direct the choir. Her husband is a retired photographer, and she likes to blog about all the places that she has been to listen to organ music and also to talk about her husband's photography. What I decided to create for her is a wallet and I wanted something that is small enough for her to be able to fit in her purse and for her to be able to take along with her to be very easy. What I did was I purchased an index card organizer and put the tabs in that are in alphabetical order and as you can see I've included a dry erase pen that is going to go with a dry erase page for her to write on. But when she's tired and not able to write, I have included an introduction page that says, Hello, goodbye, my name, and I named her Mary. How are you? I'm good. Give me a minute. I need help. I'm thirsty, hungry, and I love you. The next page is also some simple core vocabulary of please, thank you, stop, wait, go, yes, no, turn it on, turn it off. And then I also did, I'm sorry, I need and I want, I'm tired. And then I included the WH questions. At her age, she's going to want to know where her husband's going, when things are, why things are, what and who, and of course what time it is. I included the names to help with memory for her of her husband. Her son, I named him Rich. I named her husband Richard and I chose that name after my husband. Her, hus her son's wife is Anna. Then her daughter's name is Susan and her husband's Michael. And then I list, gave names to her grandchildren. She has five grandchildren. And so I put the grandkids' names. And, of course, I had the son name his son Richard III, Mary after his mom, and Susie after his sister. And then Mike, of course, is the grandson after his dad. And then the name Beth because I like the name Beth. The next tab is pronouns. And I listed the pronouns under first person, second person, third person, and um, so forth for her to be able to choose those pronouns as you can see and then the next page is the to be verb because those are the most popular linking ver verbs for her to use I then did articles and conjunctions and then the page after that is the eight basic colors that we use that you would find in an eight pack of crayons then I did the days of the week the next page is the months of the year and then I listed the popular holidays and I am assuming since she goes to church that Miss Clemens is Christian so I chose New Year's Valentine's Day St. Patrick's Day Easter Mother's Day Father's Day Fourth of July and Memorial Day and the next page continues Labor Day Thanksgiving Christmas birthday of course the anniversary Halloween and then I also added the word vacation because vacation has a tendency to coincide with all of these I then gave her a QWERTY board or a letter board with the numbers for her to be able to choose and spell out words if she needs to by pointing. It also includes a space, yes, no, and a button that says, let's start over. Then I have her dry erase board for her to be able to use the pen that is attached, it is a dry erase pen, to write whatever it is she needs to write if she's not able to find her words. Her core vocabulary and fringe vocabulary I actually put together. And I did single words for her because if she's able to read and to write, it is easier for her to string along these words. And what I did was I chose 378 words that are found that are popular in the adult language that is found in 78% of conversation. These words I put in alphabetical order. The French vocabulary that I added in here were things like music, note, camera, flash, because her husband is a photographer and, of course, she is a pianist and plays the piano um, with her church. And, of course, as you can see, each one is listed in alphabetical order for her to use. And if none of these words that she's looking for, she can go back and use a letter board or she can also write the board. I like this also with the ring binder in is we can also add more vocabulary if needed. We can add more phrases as I get to know Miss Clemens to find out what her popular phrases are with her and her husband. I can also add pages in specifically that if we know that she's going to church and she needs to bring this book, we can put those pages in specifically for church. Or we can add pages in specifically if she and her husband are going to go to a specific country. We can find out information and phrases for that country.
to add in here, and that's why I do like the book. Um, it's very simple, easy for her to use and to manipulate as long as she has use of her hands and um, her fingers. As the ALS progresses and she's not able to do that anymore, her husband can manipulate this book pretty simple for her by touching the tabs of where the letter is and turning to that tab and then with her blinking her eyes or whatever to choose those words. Or if he has to use the letter board and point, he's also able to do that too. And that is my simple AAC, no-tech, low-tech book for Miss Clemens. Thank you.